a Chinese company called Zeker went public in the United States for $5.3 billion. They've already delivered 200,000 cars. This is what American manufacturing needs to be able to compete with. The U.S. branded EVs just look uh, really cheap compared to the Chinese cars. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. That's today. I'm in studio with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, Bill? Hey, it's been a busy day, but I'm doing great. Thank you. I wanted to talk about, you know, we, we mentioned China. And so on Monday, a Chinese company called Zeker, Z-E-E-K-R, went public in the United States for $5.3 billion. I know. Amazing. Now, we've had some EV companies other than Tesla go public here in the United States that were American companies like Lucid and Rivian. Now, here's the thing. They're an EV-only company. They only make EVs. So their incentive is to not make them ugly. <laughs> okay, this is one of my complaints that a lot of the companies intentionally make their EVs ugly so people won't buy them. And then the dealers complain that they just sit on the lots. Okay, and always... Those numbers are the EVs don't sell, asterisk excludes Tesla. Right. Asterix excludes Tesla. Okay. So this company has sold 200,000 of these cars already. Those aren't pre-orders. These are delivered cars. And when you compare this, Lucid's delivered a few thousand cars. Rivian um, has probably between vans and cars, is probably around 20,000 cars. They've already delivered... 200,000 cars. This is what American manufacturing needs to be able to compete with. Now, this new 100% tariff is going to keep this out of the United States. But what is the thing is, the big three don't just sell in the United States. Tesla doesn't just sell in the United States. They sell all over the world, or they try to. Um, Buick, a large part of Buick's business for GM has been in China. Buick makes four EVs that they sell in China. And now, after the one of the latest car shows, people are coming back and they're saying the the U.S. branded EVs just look uh, really cheap compared to the Chinese cars. But, yeah, the in particular were criticized for uh, the one of the gentlemen, one of the journalists who came away from the Beijing Auto Show was saying that uh, how unimpressed he was with the uh, the Chinese built Buick as opposed to the other Chinese cars. This, this company, Zeker, by the way, I think is a unit of uh, Geely. I'm not... Geely. They are. So Geely owns Volvo and Zeker. Or Polestar. Oh, and Polestar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're they're big in the EV space and at parent company Geely, while once again, they're not necessarily coming to the United States, Volvo is bringing the X30 that's made in China to the US and they're going to sell it for... It's an SUV or crossover... They're going to sell for $35,000. That's going to be really tough for other companies to compete with that $35,000 electric SUV. I think that's going to be a huge seller. Yeah, and, and those cars, even though they are assembled, I'm going to use that term, assembled in China, and then they're shipped. I don't know, what do they do? They ship them around the Arctic Circle. How they, how they get them, you know, they get them then to supposedly, quote, Sweden, Right, and then from there to the United States. the The reason they they are probably not going to be impacted by the one hundred percent tariff that President Biden has just enacted. The reason is because they also they have manufacturing here in the United States, and they export cars from here out of the country. So that qualifies them then as a vehicle exporter, and that sort of nullifies any impact that. At least we think that the Biden administration, uh, you know, 100% tariff is, is going to cause for the other car companies. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.